When I started thinking of summer 17, all I could think of, first of all, was chalk and white. Chalk and white. And it started to move into two different areas. So one was a very bright, monochrome, sporty use of white with colour and black. And the other way was something more subtle and more sort of almost a bit religious, a bit um, so harmonious and very ethereal, so very beautiful and calm. I just kept feeling for, yeah, very natural and sort of um, distressed finishes, so very lots of olives and tans. The really rich spicy colours, that came from, I learnt uh, to meditate about six months before I started thinking about the season and it's been inspirational to me and, and actually I think it's something that more and more people are doing and, it, and more and more people are open to. And I started to go down a path of um, Buddhism and Hinduism and um, beautiful spiritual um, kind of bodies, peop you know, people and bodies and, and, and areas of the world. Really started exploring India and was very inspired by the, the colours of Indian spice. There's an, an underlying feeling of freedom, of exploring the world of, of colours that really feel very different to the sort of colours that we experience day to day in, in the UK and in London. So it was very important to introduce vegetable tanned leathers so to get that really natural feel and, th and that, that just get more and more beautiful with age so rather than using um, the more formal leathers so that brings a, a, a casualness um, and a naturalness and then also the, the really beautiful stone wash canvas that we've used on the men's bags. It's just very natural and beautiful. It's the two sides of the season. 